One of the most important parts of your creation is color grading. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are either not familiar with this feature or are not even aware that CS is really capable of color grading your scenes. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to color grade your scenes to help you produce more crisp and vibrant videos that will captivate your audience. And before we dive deeper into this, I've got an example that I wanna share with you. Let's have a watch and come back to start creating. I hope you enjoyed watching the example. Now let's dive into showing you how to color grade your scenes to enhance the quality of your production. So the first example we've got on our screen is this video clip where we have a model right there. Let me just play it for you and this is what it looks like. She's not really doing much, but it's one of my favorite clips that I like to use as an example to show you how you can enhance the quality of it. So this is what it actually looks like while it's raw and i want to share with you something that most of the time when you're working with backgrounds inside the studio or even the ones that you download from the integrated websites or when you import your own media most of the time these footage are raw and what raw means is simply without editing so this is where the color grading feature comes in and it's really a beneficial fe feature that you can use inside cs to enhance the quality of your video. So although Create Studio is meant for animation, but it was great addition to have all those color grading features as part of the effects to help you enhance the quality of your production and really captivate your audience. So now I'm gonna show you this example. So I'm gonna go to the effects tab and I'll activate the effects that I had um, added onto this clip. So I'm gonna turn on the color correction and this is what it looks like after color grading it. So you can see it's more popping, more vibrant before. So once again, before it's pretty raw and this is with the effect, definitely enhances the experience. Uh, we now have a more vibrant uh, skin tone as well as you know uh, facial de expressions and details. Everything looks more brighter and colorful. I also added another effect that's called sharpness. So once I do that, let me zoom in here a little bit. You can see that her eyes and nose, pretty much the face is kind of blurred out. But once I activate the sharp effect, this will bring more details, allowing me to see details of her face. And I also added some inner shadow to make this clip more cinematic and dramatic. So that's another effect that you can also use in your videos, depending on the mode that you're trying to achieve. So I'm gonna show you how does that look like, but let's go into the next example where we have a couple of kids right there and I'm gonna to go to the effects tab again and I'll activate the color correction. So this is what it looks like after the correction or color grading. It's more vibrant, colors are more popping and it's definitely better than what it looks like previously. Next, I also have some sharpness added as well to give more details. So if I zoom in on the kid's face right there, deactivate that one you can see his face is kind of blurred out but once we activate the sharpness it you know brings more details in the image which really makes the image stand out now let's go back to this third example where i'm using one of cs's backgrounds so same thing if i go back into my effects app right here i have the color correction so once again this is what it looks like before the adjustments once I activate the effect, this is what it looks like. So you can tell, again, it looks more popping. Colors are more true and are more vibrant. And it's just so beautiful that way. I also added some sharpness as well to enhance the quality of the detail, details of the image. And it just looks amazing. So now let me show you how to start doing that. So I'm going to go back to the first clip. And then I'm going to go to my effects and delete everything that I added so we can start from scratch. And so the way to do this is pretty simple. All we got to do 
is go to the effects and components tab and then from the effects this is where we can use the color correction sharpness we can use the blur effect we have edge feather inner shadow and so many effects that we can really use in our videos to enhance the production of our creation and captivate our audience so for this one i'm going to use the color correction so all i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop it onto the clip right here and then i have my adjustment panel on the top right so i'm going to start making adjustments uh, depending on what i need i can in increase the, the brightness a little bit like three percent and then we can add some contrast as well to make it look like that and then the next thing we'll play with the saturation to bring the colors and make them more warm like this and then gamma it's just to lighten the scene a little bit just like that and there you have it so this is what it looks like after the change and this is how it looked like before the change so going back again and then next thing is grabbing the sharpness effect and dropping that onto the clip as well by default it's set to 10 percent um so we'll just keep it as is this is what it looks like again if i turn it off you know it just looks a little bit blurry but once i activate the sharpness it brings more detail over our face now if you want to add edge feather to your scene to make it more cinematic or dramatic you can go and uh, actually add the inner shadow not the edge feather you could drag the inner shadow onto your clip and then from there you can play with the direction of your or the angle of your shadow you can also change the color if you want to so again dependent on what clip are you working with and a light source you can change the distance from you know from the subject and uh, your scene and you can also play with the blurriness um, settings as well so you have a lot of settings to play with to enhance the quality of your clip on the next example we'll do the same thing so we're going to go back in here and deactivate all of this stuff and start from scratch so i'm going to go back again to my effects simply grab the color correction and i'm going to increase the brightness to about two or three percent just like this and then going back to the um, contrast so we can just add more contrast so add more depth to the colors and then make it more warm like this by add, playing with the saturation and we can just increase the gamma a little bit so you don't want to go crazy with it but from one to three percent is quite fine so we will just do two percent right there and this is what it looks like after the change again this is before and this is after so you can tell it's so much incredible you know when you apply all those effects to help you produce higher quality clips next we have the sharpness as well so i already did that and it's there for 10 percent um and then we will move on to the next example so here we go this is css backgrounds a background i'm going to delete the effect and then start from uh, from scratch so there you go delete that and then go back so grab the color correction on top of the background and then we will add some brightness so i'll do three percent for this one as well now i don't tend to add a lot of brightness because you know it's going to mess up the scene or the background how it looks like so always try anywhere from one percent all the way to five percent if your scene is really dark then you can go beyond the five percent uh, but i don't suggest that you play with it a lot next we're going to play with contrast to add more depth and saturation to make the more the colors more vibrant and warm and then we can just add some gamma to lighten this up a little like this and yeah this is just amazing so here we go this is after the effect and then turn it off this is what it looks like right you can tell it's so much incredible after adding the color correction and that's how you can color grade your scenes we can also grab the sharpness um, effect as well and drop it in there and once we get it in there you can see it adds a lot of details so let's say for example if i zoom in on the text right here if i turn this off you can see the text is kind of like blurred out but once we turn it on it gives more details same thing with the entire image so not only the text but it works on the entire image so there is a little bit of a blur back on that bus in the back end the lights over there as well so the sharpness effect really help a lot with your uh, creation so i would say the color correction and sharpness are both you know perfect that they complement each other in your creation and then you can enhance your, your scene even more by adding some edge feather if you want to smooth out the edges or you can add some inner shadow to you know make your scene look more dramatic and um and really just have fun with your creation 
to captivate your audience. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.